too young to be a bee poet, and I was too old to be a hippie poet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, how I suffer. Anyway, here's to the Garrett a as asked me to read, uh, gave a request and wants me to read this poem, which I'm going to read as soon as I can find it here. See how wonderfully prepared I am for the, the, these events. Um, it's on page 59 of your book, which of course you bought. And, and <laughs> These are tough times, I cried out loud, you know. Uh, and I mean, you know, we don't go into poetry for the big bucks. Eh? Uh, all right, this is called French Broom. Uh, it's not erotic. <laughs> so, it, doesn't, it, 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 it doesn't reflect my, my agit smut books. Uh, French Broom. Allow me these fragments. They are my poem. My poem is pieces here and there, chips off the old blockhead. One wall cracks apart, not from despair, but rain. Plaster falls on the floor. Reminds me of the poem I write whenever I get time to sit down. Others balance by kneeling to pray. I allow them their poem. This is mine, a patchwork poem. Pathwork, dream flesh sewn up. Flesh of wounds whose edges cut against the mouth. Don't turn away. My blood mixes with plaster, sealing the poem together. One letter, one word, one line at a time held in the page when I sew pieces together, they remain fragments. Typewriter strikes paper, needle through cloth, allow it. My grandmother was a seamstress, my grandfather a tailor, my father sat before his table sewing jokes into the air, something like Satori to think of it. Splinters of my brain, no judgment. Let me be with my pieces spread upon the table. A puzzle, no matter how I move it, never solves itself. Time unbends me, my fragments make no difference. They are children laughing against knowledge. Shadows grow large in the field. My window watches sunset swallow song. Stars arise, page after page of my book writes through time, lights sewn together. My poem is bits and splinters. Darkness allows me. Into dawn, the door opens. Quail in pairs wobble out for seed, scattered like stars in random swirls around the green grace of bamboo moving supple in the wind. Question my poem for words to describe it. The page is in pieces, praises, sorrows, joys, corny, sincere, spirals of aura dust, fragments and whispers, thumb book of holy hints, all are my poem, and they bend to a moment, ready for distraction. Breeze, <coughs> white clouds, blue sky, Yellow buds, French broom, <laughs> opening. Maybe it is erotic, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So th this was the poem that, that Lawrence heard that night. Uh, and it's called, When I Was a Poet. And of course, it's a title of this book, which is available. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's still better to give them away. <laughs> when I was a poet, I had no doubt knew the ins and outs of all and everything, lettered, inwarded, each syllable, seed, stuck to a letter, formed a word, a world. When I was a poet, the world was a cluster of words splattered upon white space. When I was a poet, I knew even when I didn't. I thought I knew the game, whereas the game knew me, played me like an ocarina. When I was a poet, I was an acrobat, tightrope walker, keeping balance in my slippers on a wire above Grand Canyon, Inferno, Vertigo. Oh, I did prance the death-defying dance, whereas now death defines each second of awaking. When I was a poet, everyone I knew were poets too, and we'd gather at spots, poets and others met at, and yes, questions, yes, without pause, with no answer. Ultimate, certainly, absolutes, absolutely, but otherwise, nada, zilch, great, empty, blank page, blank stare into the core of it all. When I was a poet, Willie Nelson was back to back with Paul Salon, side by side on the trail of tears. No worries, no gravity, wide eyes awake, zeroing into all edges and lights of the ordinary, extraordinary. Fools for love. Fools for freedom, dances, mites, and fleas into the void, worldless and wordless, my red diapers gird me. When I was a poet, aloof and above, free of doubt, a chopper view encompasses grand map of the spread of what's to know. Hit the streets from bar to bar, stooling truth to cadres, compatriots, jot dots connecting all together as we've always known everything to be. When I was a poet, everything was possible. There wasn't anything that wasn't poetry. Voyant supreme skateboarding void, no fear of falling even when falling. When I was a poet, Passion was a wire plugged into nerve ends of lovers' spines, charging our volts with jolts of jazz and deep juice parting like Red Sea. Dig it, Curly said. <laughs> when I was a poet, knowing it within measure, and beyond free-falling, reforming, riffing 24-7, disconnected from Jack's electrics, getting it all down on paper with pen, pencil, or typewriter, watching paper stack up towers of profound poetry babble. <laughs> when I was a poet, Death was a metaphor, a traditional, glyphic, rampant metaphysic, immortality assured. <laughs> While Dante's midway or Coney's boardwalk spilled over and vanishing became routine and all of the hummingbirds who darted in and out of each line got grounded. And I was a poet. Everything was a revelation, no detail less than cosmic. When I was a poet, Eden Dew made my raiments soggy. <laughs> Nectar got me groggy, but visions woke me up. Battle of the bands and bonds wouldn't let me off easy, despite the breezy gab sprung forth from clutch 
tongue in your ear swirl your love you lips me burrowing deeper and deeper into within's heat slick slippery perfume when i was a poet i grieved and raged against now and then and knew it was all about letters shape shifting into words and poems that could salve and solve most grievances even death silences when i was a poet i knew nothing and everything and now i'm in between the lines signs everywhere when i was a poet no need to know me each word the word revealing the word i could trace it like shooting stars each letter luminous and liminal and erratic with shimmer to put them together in the flow of flux was deluxe swam in it the light made seem possible when i was a poet poetry was all there was each beloved exalted beyond the margins everything and nothing was poetry to me all i could see and be was poetry heaven every day all the way down to my grungy socks up to my ozone wisdom no zone when i was a poet it all made sense as poetry in motion ongoing forever and ever now at the end of the line <clears throat> letters assigned as words sound out in brainstorm when i was a poet was a thief a jackdaw all trade straight to the shiny things jongler juggler fast-footed roller skater and rakes and poetry halls swimming in yodel wobble stretch tape of extreme waltzes and blotched blue spots turning ice into ink when i was a poet everything was poetry hummingbird and maggots hatching everything and nothing counted all plugged into heart central
I've been, uh, you know, dog uh, is my totem. And, uh, in fact, uh, Garrett was over with Julie and I like a couple of nights ago, and I was talking about dog, you know, with those brown, soulful eyes and that unconditional love and that love me, love me, love you, love me, can't be me, I love you. Um, <laughs> I'm getting mixed signals, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I, 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 you know, many, many moons ago, I, I wrote a book called Bark, a polemic. Uh, in fact, maybe we should go to that, I think, just to show you the context, and then we'll get into the, the, the other thing. Uh, this is another book. The table of contents, which is very, very reassuring. If you find this, uh, uh, these are all good, but I mean, I hate that. <laughs> 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 well, once I get started, that's why I keep on saying, Should I get it off? I mean, I mean, yeah, you should get off, David. <laughs> I'm looking. I hate. I hate to break the spell. But, uh, that's the way it goes. Well, I guess it's not here. All right. So we'll go to, to David Dog the Lion. Um, the, uh, these are uh, uh, more elaborations on uh, the dog poems. Uh, this is called David Dog the Lion. David Dog the Lion bounds across Brooklyn like a greyhound and monkey, coils around the streetcar going to the subway. There's a war going on. He paws it all the way down to the rugby. David Dog the Lion roller skates through Brooklyn, WW2, BMT. Coney Island, roller racketing on boardwalk wood, ocean unfolding onto shores, Luna Park on the other side, big smile of till you, you could get sucked into as into a big fish. David Dog the Lion, the monkey, scrambling through cotton candy, Nathan's hot dogs jiving and thriving and dare you to catch me on the boogie board walk over the fence onto the sand facing the ocean opening its brine for an epic swim to California. David Dog, the lion, unreal eel sliming down Hollywood Boulevard, stalked stars with true Unagi pizzazz, get snagged by PR paparazzi, put on public access TV, need an agent to fend off offers in those hyper moments before the right one snakes into the cacophony realism of fake moments, glass shards, piercing eyes, and told as history bleeds from tight lips mute as memory evaporates each second it's received. David Dog in lion country can't afford to tread lightly nor love unconditionally, really lost in between campfires and shadows of others who may be lions aligned in packs like we used to do before fire. David Dog the lion, looping, loping over evaporating habitats, makes eye contact with polar bears swimming into certain starvation. David Dog from the start knew a thing or two, but then forgot. Forage like a skinny rat through the mountain, pyramids of shice, shit, crap, unused uselessness as a native in those cities. He was, after all, a New Yorker. David Dog, the lion, lost and found, red prong sprung out, plugging and unplugging, sometimes stuck in heat holes along the road. David Dog, the lion, driven by certainty, so fractured it's kaleidoscopic, musky inside doghouse, uncertainty melts the leash at last, 
And again, I'm off. David Dog, the lion, the once upon a time lemming, chases cats and squirrels, but not raccoons. They're way too tough for this soft heart barker. Sometimes doubts his own bark, his weave of woofs, a furry aria no one knows what to do with. Ariel, mutt angel, David Dog bounds down the hill too fast, buckles to his knees, tearing fur and skin, sad sack. Mutt crumpled beneath giant redwoods. David Dog the lion wonders about his progeny displaced all over the place. And it goes. <laughs> <laughs> faces downstream. Tell them I'm davening, and voices rise up from within to startle children. Tell them I walk off into the woods to sing. Tell them I sing loudest next to waterfalls. Tell them the books get fewer, words go deeper, some take months to go through. Tell them there are moments when it's all perfect. Above and below, it's perfect, even moments in between where sparks in space, terrible, beautiful sparks in space, are merely metaphors for the void between one poor and another. Thank you. 